85 degrees at 3 in the morning. This shit sucks. <laughs> We're best off staying where we are for now. Oh, we'll return to the hideaway. Anything catch your eye? Chicken chaser. Thanks very much. Eighteen hundred. as well. So I have things to fool around with, right? I see nothing. Dead. I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. 
Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Oh boy. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath near Ironhome. Drake's Fang in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine in Walud. And Drake's Tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's Breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Saru. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Yeah, because it's hot as fuck, dude. Well, it's, it's like 85 degrees at 3, <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning. It's great. What are we waiting for? Okay. Huh? How's it going, Sarah? The hunt board. What are we waiting for, indeed? How do I get over there? Up the stairs. Oh no, no, there we go. Torgol. Probably going forward, Sarah, I'm gonna start becoming like an early ish streamer for the next few months. Try to get in a few hours before work. Just to avoid it, a lot of the heat. See, I am. Hopefully. Was open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh yeah, it's just. Well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know there's something of the old hideaway still. When it's like 90 degrees at like 10 p.m. when she rescued it from the rock. But look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'd be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, 
Thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Womp womp. <laughs> oh, that's the thing too. It's like it's 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 cooler outside than it is in my room, bud. Like right now. See if I go by the weather app on my phone. Yeah, outside it's 60 degrees, which is not too bad. It's you know it's pretty good. But in my room. I hear there's trouble. Back in 85 degrees. It's awful. That room's as ragged as My room just retains heat, and it's awful. I hate it. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. I would. Let's see if Martel. I wish I had AC. Oh well. It's fine. I'm vaguely Martel. used to it, as much as I hate it. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. Mm. Old. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't ya? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Not that I'm planning a journey. Clive! Here you go. Now! Seen enough? What do you have? Oh, Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? No, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Completing side quests earn renown. Oh. 
You earned this. All yours. Come again. I may have more for you. Hey, you Koopa. I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Nectar? The matter is this, Koopa. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Yeah, Just thank you, Lord. they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Koopo. I knew all that already. And that's why I need your help, as I need not remind you, Koopo, I'm the mightiest of all Moogles. No fiend of the Forester will fuck you. I need you to slay them all, Koopo. Right. Well, yeah, give me them channel points. Your mightiness aside for no the way. moment. The people give of me all of are them. going through a lot already. Thank you, Jack. Light in the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Well, thank you, Kubo. It's so good to have found someone who understands me, Kubo. Stay here then and keep an eye on the board. So if there's anything you need to know, I'm your Moogle. Angel of Death, Clairview, Sandbrick, Broken Hills, Rosaria. Well, I do have a DACA. <laughs> or a webpage app that shows me all these hunts, so I'm gonna use that. So this is Angel of Death and Elphagor. Assuming it lists those in order. For another of my lectures. Allow me to educate you. The state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. Mm. Uh -huh. Them old apples were enough to That room's as ragged as Breakers send their thanks and their compliments. Oh. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. Okay. That's something to be proud of. I, I, I didn't you. do anything, really, but... Thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way... Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Bazinga.
Why can't I go anywhere? Fuck you. <clears throat> I guess I can't do them just yet. Moment I can though. We're gonna dip out of the main quest and try to take care of those hunts. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kubka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Poor goal. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the no, no, no. What, what Clive reminds me of, he kind of looks like Gabriel Belmont from the Lords of Shadow Castlevania games. Come on. When he had his hood up earlier. Uh, start of the latest time skip. Kind of vaguely look like an Assassin's Creed character. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Okay, good. I can fucking get out of here. Sounds good. Enjoy your lurks. Three reads. I'll swing. Northridge clear of you. Where's Claire? Oh, okay. I'm with dumb. It's here. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Booty, 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 just don't care. Booty, booty, So there's going to be a big boy monster out here somewhere. It's a little meaty. That's a rock. Oh, hello.
Can open this map up again. A little further down, okay. I think that's it. Get out of here, you dusty fuck. We did. That one was much easier than the other one, because it didn't have an instant death spell. Rest well. I know I will. I guess let's get some potions. Anything you like? 
You've a keen eye. World map. So you're done. Rosaria is full. And uh, I think those are the only ones that we can do at the moment. Excuse me. Elfador, Rosaria is full of broken holes. The three rings, Martha's rest is full. We found it, boys. I did see a shiny. God. Come here, you dragon fuck.
Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nearly ran out of fucking goddamn uh, healing item. No, I think I was out of healing items completely. No, there aren't any more of them. This... Jesus fucking Christ, Jet. Catch your eye. There you go. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Double check to see if we can collect a renown reward. That room's as ragged as That room is ragged as chicken chaser. Oh, that was all right. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They're all dead. How are you doing? Anything catch your eye? Seen enough? How may I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts? You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Doesn't sound like anywhere is. The AP, what the fuck? I 
am a sudden dick. I am Thunderbolt. Stop or snooze. Come on, Mom. Please. Please behave. Okay, I think that was stop. Get out of here, you dusty dragon, I'm sick of shit! Must destroy everything. Who's clicking? You clicking? You clicking at me? <sighs> run into anything on our way over there. Bluebird acquired. Bluebird acquired.
justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Oh no. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. Let's go murder. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller, son? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. <coughs> oh no. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they, Chest? Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. Over there, hundred. You're a long way from home, aren't you? Yeah. I'm much obliged. There you are. Keep to the roads now. We're going on in for our loss. Yeah, I'm an outlaw. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields just now. You seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was a black shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? But what do you think? Amber's the arson to nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. Should kill you for that. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. Trend you are to leave Amber and never come back. Oh, I'll set May you on I fire. I ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pool. No. Then we shall be on our way. I'll be back, you fuck. I'll light you on fire. These people live with a knife to their throat. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, <coughs> my mother will show them mercy. So let's kill mother. Audience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps.
This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Oh, goody. Is that a 7 a.m. cutie? It is. You see more and more of these echoes. What do you think is breaking? The mother crystals collapse? <laughs> the cutest little greedy at 7 a.m. I'm sorry, but it's the cutie kumquat. The cutest little greedy in all of the land. Jesus. That's fucking shitty. Tell the assholes to keep it down. More of my mother's men. Ingredients, since you went to bed before it happened last night, uh, do you remember, were you here when I was playing the demo and we had the, uh, the white chocobo burb friend from the prologue section when we were, like, a little twink 15-year-old boy? We found him again, and he's now our mount that we can summon whenever, so our burb friend is still alive. weird about using fire attacks on a bomb.
How the fuck do we get over there, right? Oh, there we go. Easy. Easy first try, easy. I hope it's not Chris's blood. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. Interrogate these well nuts. In darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield of Rosaria. Stay down! <laughs> We did it. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. He does, he does, he does, he does. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordil. Guardians of the flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Can you? I run into the opposite direction. In case there's any enemies. Mother dear, I'm coming to murder you. Mother dear, come to marry you. Are there any more of your brownies, mother dear? <laughs> Oh, 
The most immortal of blows. Oh, fuck you. Mother dear, I slayed your stupid dragon. Mother dear, your henchmen are shit. Any blue burb? I have no quarrel with you, normal burb. But if you're harboring a blue burb, the blue burb must die. Grants me too much AP. Mother dear, I demand you give me your blue burbs. Alright, 
I think we killed. Oh, nope, never mind. Dear Torgo would like a word with you. Probably go back and actually like platinum that mother game, but I, I did not like it. But it seems like a relatively easy platinum. The dear. Jesus. doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. Let's jump. Get out of here, burbs. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith.
Wait, Mummy! I could hear him shouting from down the road. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Oh boy. <laughs> Crab. Lazarus, what happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fed better. <laughs> Strike these nuts, fool. Mother dear, I wish to let the weasels in. Oh, God. Yes, but are there any more monsters to slay? I am a regular monster hunter, it appears. Mother dear. Let us pass! My children are starving! Have mercy. Your kids. Oh, 
frictionless bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you, filth? Back to your stars. Cut you down where you stand. Just try it. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. So let's go in noticed. I want to murder them all. They're all assholes. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built, so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? No. As long as it is abandoned. Any nearer? The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. <laughs> well, maybe we killed them all. Oh, I see a shiny. <clears throat> this is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. A deer. Wish to let the walnuts in. Oh, cinematic. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Oh, goody. You're all going to die. Or not. Get out of here. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to no. fear from us. Knock up wed wedge. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. Yeah, sorry about killing your dudes.
We can speak inside. No, no, they're fine. Never mind. False alarm, chat. Mother dear. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas... There is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. A culling same like say. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye, the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. Yeah, fuck them. They're assholes. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. <clears throat> no offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you, for the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. Yeah. And we at yours. So Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. One quick second here. I this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Right. Speak with Wade. Back up, man. We'll show them not the dead. fire in our hearts. You are welcome to what little we have managed to salvage. Will that be all? my lord tell us then so wait 
What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. And we'll Since murder the lot. opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. Oh, you can While overwhelm the Black me. Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see. They prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. Huh. I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. Yeah. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Listen to the Phoenix, go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Yeah, the more that I think about it, it's, it's kind of staggering how much Clive looks like Gabriel from the Lords of Shadow Castlevania games. Right? Like, I was trying to put my finger on, like, who Clive reminded me of as another video game character. There was also that bit after the post time skip where he had his hood up. And he kind of almost looked like an Assassin's Creed protagonist. There they are. Just because they've been abusing the hood shit for a while. But yeah, he, he looks so much like Gabriel. It's wild. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicereen. Yeah, the first one was the solid. Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us. And I personally find it very silly. Filthy vagabonds. Uh, a woman that people kept calling a it a God of War ripoff, considering that it against the plays very reminiscent to Lament of Innocence, which came out before They're God of War. Come. Like, Die more polished, obviously, but... Flame. The Shadow of the Colossus boss fights, yeah, sure, that's an obvious comparison. I can agree with that. But Lords of Shadow 1 was solid. Lords of Shadow 2 I kind of gave up on. Mirror of Fate was mixed. I did beat that, though. It was mostly fine. At some point I'm going to go through all three on the screen. But I, I really like the first Lords of Shadow. second one was... I like the concept, but there were a lot of weird design decisions. Like, fucking playing as... Stealth sections as Ratula. That sucked. I wanna play as fucking Dracula. I don't wanna fucking do stealth sections as goddamn tiny-ass rat. The 
was also buggy, so it was pretty clear that it was like a rush half cycle. I think. I know Matt McMuscle did a what happened on it, but I, I forgot the specifics of it. But I, I really did dig the first one. And I find the uh, God of War comparisons to be uh, silly and typical game dev shit. Where they don't have uh, a long-term memory. Albeit a misguided It's kind of like you'll have people claiming the Resident Evil remakes are aping off of Last of Us. It's like, my dudes, proven our point stop. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. And I mean, like, certainly Game of Thrones is an influence on, like, Final Fantasy XVI, for example. The devs even admit it so, but like to claim that this is entirely Game of Thrones is very silly considering how much dark fantasy exists, especially in Japanese media. But... I mean, there's even been, I mean, not, like, super dark, but there's been darker Final Fantasy games, too. Like, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. We need to finish this. We finish it. Basically, there's been a lot of really dumb hot takes about Final Fantasy 16 from what I've seen. It's fine for something to be not like your specific tastes, or, or not even like the game itself, as I've said many, many a time. But some of the hot takes are fucking astoundingly terrible, from what I've seen. Like, I saw this one, uh, the headline from a, from The Gamer, where they were like, Final Fantasy XVI doesn't even want to be a video game. And I guess it was about how, like, there's little gameplay in the first few hours of the game, and they were basing it only after their first four hours of play, and it's like, okay, one, that's been, like, the last 10 to 15 years of Western game design. I'm pretty sure The Gamer has sucked the knob of like shit like The Last of Us Part 2 where it's just walk and talk. Just because you have stick control doesn't mean it's fucking gameplay, right? And two, uh, this is a lot more gameplay focused than some of the other Final Fantasy games. Like JRPGs are notorious for having a shit ton of cinematics and a shit ton of exposition at the start. With like minimal gameplay segments, right? It's very silly. Plus, well, also, you're a reviewer. Why are you, like, like fucking review the game? Right? How do I? The plan worked. It did. Kotaku also the seems to think worked. that Jill is just a pretty face with no depth, and it's like... One of the rotten bastards straight to the are, mud. are you ignoring uh, her character? Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the cullings. It's very the silly. Being, at least. Perhaps. And again, it's fine if you say, hey, your no, character didn't work for me or whatever, but it's like to just claim that she You'll has no character. To see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I don't think so, Grady. I, often wonder if I don't think game, the, game journalists play games anymore. Or only a few of them do. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. It's like the silliest takes. Yet be that as it may. It is still our home, and we must fight for it, as we always have, and always will. 
For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. That or they're just, like, intentionally ignoring the game to Port Azolda before the garrisons and being contrarians to write hate and rage bait articles which they have been known to do from time to time so it's like like we haven't gotten there yet but i guess there's there's a uh, uh, some some character who has a boyfriend like like some dude who has a boyfriend and kotaku is writing about how it's it, it, it's it's not a sas satisfactory LGBTQ relationship when it, it seems like the bulk of the people who play the game are saying it's it's a fantastic relationship. Again, I don't have context for it. I haven't gotten there yet, but still. Worry, worry. I don't know. It seems like they just want to write shit to complain over and over and over again. It's kind of like the gamer was like, oh, we're not going to review Hogwarts Legacy because... You know, we, we, you know, that, that'll cause more harm. And then they proceed to write, like, 40 articles about Hogwarts Legacy the week that it comes out. Because they know it'll drive, like, clicks. And how long it's like, you're still getting money off this shit. You and your comrades endeavors. Come on, now. Since the beginning. You're not fooling anybody. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience. Especially since you're Very famously silly. dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something oh, like, to help with the God, lover. what was that? I can't even remember the name of it. I think I sent you the... It's the mark of the guardians. The article. Display it. Or the headline. Love Rosaria will know uh, greedy. lie. Where some shit rag was writing about the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake and like how how the game needs to have Valve right. stealth since stealth is evolved sure since do. it came out and, and it's like they're comparing it to The Last of Us game. 2. It's like The Last Unless of Us 2 has like the most shallow fucking stealth mechanics. Only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Like come on. Or the Lord Commander. Stop it. Get some Thank help. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need, I know. Go on now, my lord. You're talking about a remake of one of the grandfather's stealth games, and we still haven't even seen gameplay, and you're trying to say that somehow the original MGS3 has stealth that's not nearly as deep as The Last of Us 2? Fuck off with that shit. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. The means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. Yeah. 
It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshod. <clears throat> Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. He reenacting a play from his youth. <laughs> Curse thee, infectious flax wench. E even in death must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh Clive, my dear boy. This is it's this is really genuinely you. sweet and touching. <laughs> you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. <laughs> What a surprisingly tender and touching moment for this grim, dark game. Ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. That's so fucking weird. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. Being invested in a Final Fantasy game again after so fucking long. <laughs> I love it. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. It's That's also... I, do to aid Wade and I was talking with Lee about this. It's nice to see a Final Fantasy protagonist who fits the, the quote-unquote sad boy archetype, which they've they've done for a while, or sad character archetype, but they have a genuine fucking reason to be sad. And they're charismatic, and they just, they don't want to be sad, and they're trying to do better. Like, it's, it's neat. I dig it. So he's told us, you have risked much for Rosaria. <clears throat> the nation will be forever in your debt. It has been 20 years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to <laughs> linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The 
One thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Brotherhood, fetch me my... You should, and the gameplay is really solid, too. This will be fun. Like, right now it's only on PS5, but there is a PC port coming. But, like, I'm really digging the gameplay, too. It's very fluid. It's very stylish. It's very satisfying. I do wish that the melee combat was, was deeper, like, I had more combos. Because I want to play it, like, Devil May Cry or Nier. But it's overall really, really fucking solid. She'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind. Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I... I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. At least outwardly, there's no planned DLC. That's nice. I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, Will the monster cease to be? He really is. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. All right, now it seems like a good time to take a quick BRB, so I will be right back after stretch break restroom G Fuel. See you in a little bit. <laughs> 